to our third Story Bus tour. Yay! And we're so glad you're with us and um, we're off to a great adventure. Neil Bear worked with me to start these story tours. Um, he joined us for the second tour. And we found that they're a great way to give writers direct experience of an issue, something, you know, a topic they may be working on or researching. And this is our third tour. And we're really focused on the science behind climate change and other related topics that JPL addresses. We're already on a trajectory for climate change, which we can't take back, nor are we going to stop it. The question is, how are we going to adapt to it? And that's where, that's the difficult set of questions. The, the big myth that is perpetuated by climate skeptics is that there isn't a consensus on this. Sure as shit is, Sherlock. <laughs> by 99.9% .9 of all practicing scientists who've investigated anything to do with climate change, we know that climate change is, is happening. There's plenty of evidence for it. There's actually plenty of tests to prove that human beings have had their impact on the climate. It's circulated almost the entire southern hemisphere because these gases don't respect country borders. They will go where the winds will take them. The same instrument that does the, uh, the carbon dioxide you saw in the movie and that carbon monoxide can also do air temperature. This is surface air temperature, again, over a 12-month period. So we can watch the seasons coming and going. All of that data from all of those spacecraft through these ground-based antenna come to this room. So when we stand in this room, we stand right here in the very center of the room, we call this the center of the universe. We're not currently using on the surface, and so this is us testing this latest software upgrade before we send it to Mars to see if we're really happy with it and we think it'll keep the vehicle safe. People ask the question, what is a scientist? Mm -hmm. And I almost have a problem with that question in the sense that it separates scientists from everybody else. So scientists are over here, everybody else is here, and I guess what I'm interested in is in getting people to want to think like a scientist. I've had this wonderful tour today of the Jet Propulsion Laboratory through Hollywood Health and Society, and it's amazing. Um, as writers, we take people to other worlds, and today I got to go to another world. This has been just a great inspiration. I think uh, one of the things that we realized with the show that, that I'm working on is that little girls uh, already find science to be a negative connotation by the time they're in the first grade. So I'm uh, excited for anything that's going to help uh, inspire myself to therefore inspire other kids to think that science is cool.